Daily Words of God Since man believes in God, he must closely follow the footsteps of God, step by step. He should follow the Lamb wherever he goes. Only these are the people who seek the true way. Only they are the ones who know the work of the Holy Spirit. People who slavishly follow letters and doctrines are those who have been eliminated by the work of the Holy Spirit. In each period of time, God will begin new work, and in each period, there will be a new beginning among man. If man only abides by the truth that Jehovah is God and Jesus is Christ, which are truths that only apply to a single age, then man will never keep up with the work of the Holy Spirit and will forever be incapable of gaining the work of the Holy Spirit. Regardless of how God works, man follows without the slightest doubt, and he follows closely. In this way, how could man be eliminated by the Holy Spirit? Regardless of what God does, as long as man is certain that it is the work of the Holy Spirit and cooperates in the work of the Holy Spirit without any misgivings and tries to meet the requirements of God, then how could he be punished? The work of God has never ceased. His footsteps have never halted and prior to the completion of his work of management, he has always been busy and never stops. But man is different. Having gained but a modicum of the Holy Spirit's work, he treats it as if it will never change. Having gained a little knowledge, he does not go forth to follow the footsteps of God's newer work. Having seen but a bit of God's work, he immediately prescribes God as a particular wooden figure and believes that God will always remain in this form that he sees before him, that it was like this in the past and will always be thus in the future. Having gained but a superficial knowledge, man is so proud that he forgets himself and begins to wantonly proclaim the disposition and being of God that simply do not exist. And having fastened upon one stage of the Holy Spirit's work, no matter what kind of person it is that proclaims the new work of God, man does not accept it. These are people who cannot accept the new work of the Holy Spirit. They are too conservative and incapable of accepting new things. Such people are those who believe in God, but also reject God. Man believes that the Israelites were wrong to only believe in Jehovah and not believe in Jesus. Yet the majority of people act out a role in which they only believe in Jehovah and reject Jesus and long for the return of the Messiah, but oppose the Messiah who is called Jesus. No wonder, then, that people still live under the domain of Satan after accepting one stage of the work of the Holy Spirit and still do not receive God's blessings. Is this not the result of man's rebelliousness? Christians across the world who have not kept up with the new work of today all hold on to the belief that they are the lucky ones, that God will fulfill each of their wishes. Yet they cannot say for sure why God will take them up to the third heaven, nor are they certain about how Jesus will come to collect them riding upon a white cloud. Much less can they say with absolute certainty whether Jesus will truly arrive upon a white cloud on the day that they imagine. They are all anxious and at a loss. They themselves don't even know whether God will take up each of them, the varied small handfuls of people 
who hail from every denomination. The work that God does now, the present age, God's will, they have no grasp of any of these and can do nothing but count down the days on their fingers. Only those who follow the footsteps of the Lamb to the very end can gain the final blessing, whereas those clever people who are unable to follow to the very end yet believe they have gained all are incapable of witnessing the appearance of God. They all believe they are the smartest person on earth and they cut short the continued development of God's work for no reason at all and seem to believe with absolute certainty that God will take them up to heaven. They who have the utmost loyalty to God follow God and abide by the words of God. Even though they have the utmost loyalty toward the words spoken by God, their words and actions still feel so disgusting because they oppose the work of the Holy Spirit and commit deceit and evil. Those who do not follow to the very end, who do not keep up with the work of the Holy Spirit, and who only cleave to the old work have not only failed to achieve loyalty to God, but on the contrary have become those who oppose God, have become those who are rejected by the new age and who will be punished. Are there any more pitiable than them? Many even believe that all those who reject the old law and accept the new work are without conscience. These people who only talk of conscience and do not know the work of the Holy Spirit will ultimately have their prospects cut short by their own consciences. God's work does not abide by doctrine, and even though it is His own work, still God does not cling to it. That which should be denied is denied. That which should be eliminated is eliminated. Yet man places himself in enmity of God by holding on to but one small part of the work of God's management. Is this not the absurdity of man? Is this not the ignorance of man? The more that people are timid and overcautious because they are afraid of not gaining God's blessings, the more that they are incapable of gaining greater blessings and of receiving the final blessing. Those people who slavishly abide by the law all display the utmost loyalty toward the law. And the more they display such loyalty toward the law, the more they are rebels who oppose God. For now is the age of kingdom and not the age of law. And the work of today cannot be held up against the work of the past, and the work of the past cannot be compared to the work of today. The work of God has changed, and the practice of man has also changed. It is not to hold on to the law or bear the cross. So people's loyalty toward the law and the cross will not gain God's approval.